Hi everyone, Dave Pardue for Imaging Resource here today to talk to you about the new Olympus TG6. Uh, that camera really set a new bar for the rugged line in many ways and of course we gave it high marks uh, at Imaging Resource and a well-deserved award as well. Let's take a look now at some of the external features from the TG6. Uh, we'll start with my favorite feature which debuted on the TG5 and that is the dedicated control dial. This was a first for a tough camera and is a neat addition for you enthusiast shooters out there who like a simple control dial for common adjustments depending on the mode you're in. For example, here we are in aperture priority mode and uh, this allows us to simply control your aperture. But of course, depending on your mode, uh, you can have the control dial control a number of things and some of it is customizable. So that is a really neat feature there. Of course, we have the usuals like your zoom toggle. Of course, you've got your shutter button, uh, your on off switch. And over here, we can move to setting up our log features. And this allows you to record a variety of really cool data uh, from their field sensor system, which includes GPS, external temperature, altitude. Uh, okay, so that's a quick look at the new Olympus TG6. And thanks to everyone for watching today. Good day, folks. This is my first impressions review of the GoPro Hero 8 Black. So the GoPro Hero 8 Black is probably the first GoPro that I've been excited about in quite some time. Now, for me, there was a couple reasons for that, and uh, the first reason is that there's no more frame on it. I really like that idea. Uh, that does come with some negatives, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. But also, the big thing is all these new mods that are coming, and I know a lot of people are pretty excited about them. They've got a media mod that has a built-in shotgun microphone. It also has a 3.5mm jack, so you can plug whatever microphone in that you do so wish. It also has cold shoe mounts on it so you can attach things like lights which is another mod that's coming. GoPro is releasing their own GoPro branded light. The other mod is a flip up screen so if you're going to be doing any kind of vlogging you'll be able to see yourself a little easier. At first when GoPro introduced the Hero 8 Black and the new mods I wasn't quite sure how I felt about it. When you take a look at something like the Osmo Action it already has a built in screen at the front. You don't have to pay any extra for it. But not everybody uses the front screen on the Osmo Action so there it's kind of a waste. With the way GoPro is doing it you just add them on if that's something that you think is going to be beneficial to you. And for the most part, I think they're priced pretty reasonably. GoPro tends to inflate their prices, I find, on a lot of their accessories, but I was actually kind of surprised at how they price these new mods. And if you're a GoPro Plus subscriber, you're going to get them at half price, which makes them actually a really good deal. Now, I'm not going to really talk too much more about them because they're not available till December, so uh, we'll just keep it to the GoPro Hero 8 Black for now. So let's talk about some of the physical changes and what I like and don't like. Like I've already stated, I like. I want to thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next one. Hello and welcome to today. We take a look at the Ricoh WG6, a rugged waterproof compact camera that aims to find a place in the backpacks and pockets of many an adventurer. Let's take a closer look. The first thing to note about the WG6 is how different it looks compared to its predecessor. Gone is the unique body design replaced with a more rectangular, standard-looking shape. And obviously, there is no clock on the front. Overall, the toned-down design may result in more sales, but a bit of the WG's distinctiveness has gone away. Still, the WG6 looks and feels extremely rugged, and that's the overall point of this camera. It's waterproof down to 65 feet for two continuous hours, so it's great for snorkeling or other waterlogged activities. It's shockproof to 6.9 feet, so it's perfect for hiking or action sports. It's freeze-proof, so skiing and sledding are no problem. And it's even crush-proof, so you can accidentally step on this thing or pile all your gear on top, and it'll be none the worse for wear. Surprisingly, this camera includes a mode dial, a handy feature you don't normally see on waterproof cameras. It has auto mode, program, scene modes, digital microscope mode, a couple custom modes, and movie mode all easy to access even if you have gloves on. On the back of the camera, you get your typical camera controls as well as the green button that temporarily reverts your camera to total auto mode when you don't want to figure out settings and you just need to snap a picture quickly. Just press it again to go back. I want you guys got another product review of the Dragon Touch Vision 3 Pro. Now this is a Wi-Fi sports action camera with Ultra HD underwater uh, DV uh, camcorder. 
It can take still images of 16 megapixels and also has 170 degree uh, wide angle of view. Also has two inch LCD screen, remote control, which is Wi-Fi, And also we have a rechargeable battery. Get two batteries in a kit. And those two batteries are 10, 50 milliamp hours. Also, it is a waterproof case, which supports up to 98 feet underwater. We also have memory uh, card support, which is a micro SD card up to 64 gig. Thanks again for watching and don't forget, give it a thumbs up. Bye for now. What's happening everyone? My name is Alex. Today we are checking out a brand new action camera from a castle called the EK7000 Pro. This is also a very affordable action camera because you can buy this for about $70 and for the price we do get a lot of value. First of all, we have a touch screen on the back. So this is a two inch touch screen, something that we don't usually see with action cameras this cheap. Not to mention that you get a bunch of stuff in the box. So the first thing you're going to see is the waterproof case. And supposedly the waterproof case is good to up to 30 meters in the water. But of course, I haven't been diving with it, but I did have it in water and there was no water going inside. You also get a remote control so you can start and stop recordings or even take... Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.